guys, it's April. Our Cricut giveaway is underway. Uh, we know that they, we underwent some changes and things like that, and we had to wait for Cricut to um, get the site up and running and with the new uh, style, and I love it. It's awesome, but we had to go through some growing pains, so we didn't have a July uh, giveaway, and what I have done is combined and changed it to a quarterly giveaway. And we are giving away a Cricut Auto Press. So if you come over to the craftingwithapril.co, that is not com, craftingwithapril.co website, you'll see the homepage here. You have your privacy policy at right here, the Cricut giveaway. If you click on that tab and you scroll down, these are Cricut sponsored giveaways. I am an official Cricut product expert. It's not a scam. You will win uh, one of these if you are the chosen winner. So just so you know, we do have other winners down here. You can see, you can look here, you can go in the groups and ask about it. And these people will tell you that they absolutely did win. So um, we are giving away the auto press. I know that that is very exciting, but I wanted to go over and make sure that you knew exactly how to enter so that you didn't miss out on your chance or get disqualified. First of all, you must be a USA or Canada resident only. I am sorry, but I can't. I am a product expert uh, for those uh, two countries only, and that's the only ones that can participate with me. So if you're in another country, please check with your cricket experts there. Um, this is a, must be a fall themed iron on project. So you need to do an iron on project. It can be infusible ink, iron on, foil iron on, but it has to be a Cricut iron on product. And you must use at least one Cricut access image. Keep in mind that you can earn extra points for sharing your project uh, in design space. Uh, so if you upload anything, your project's not going to be shareable and you will miss out on that extra point if you choose to do that. So make sure that you are entering um, the product. Uh, the deadline, I'm sorry, is going to be October 26th, my birthday, <laughs> and we will draw it on the 27th on YouTube live so that you guys can see uh, the drawing. So make sure that you make a standalone project of your post. What does that mean? And I'm going to walk over and show you guys. Let's go over to, uh, I believe here. Yeah. This is my Cricut Crafting with April site, or you can go to the Cricut Maker Project site. Doesn't matter which one you post in. You will find the details of the giveaway here. A standalone post means you come right here and you upload your photo. And then we're just, I'm not going to post this. We're just going to pretend. You get your photo of your iron-on project there, and then you write in what you need. What do you need in there? You need hashtag falling for cricket. And you can do the caps in there or not, whatever you want to do, but you need the hashtag falling for cricket in there. What else do you need? You need the hashtag, and I'm just going to pick a number here. Um, this probably isn't even an image, but we're just going to, put in something. You need that hashtag image number, and I'm going to show you how to find that. You need to put that in there. And if you use Cricut Foil Iron On, I need you to put that in there. So once you have all of those three things listed in there and anything else that you want to tell about your project, then you're going to hit post. And you're still not entered yet, okay? Just so you know. That is the step one. Step two, you're going to come over and you're going to click on the time that you posted and copy that link. Super easy and simple. You're then going to go over to the Crafting with April website. Let me get back over there. And this is where you're going to enter right here. You're going to log in with your Facebook email or your email, whatever you want to do. As long as I can find your project, that's what I need to do. And I'm just going to continue as April. I'm not, if it enters me, I will have Raffle Copter remove me. <laughs> so we're going to log in. Uh, couldn't log in. 
Um, I didn't authorize the app. So you have to authorize the app. So I'm just gonna use my email and I'm going to log in. Um, and now posting your project, you can see right here, posting your project. And it tells you exactly what it is. Now, if you don't copy that link, I need your Facebook name, the group, either Cricut Maker Projects that, or Cricut Crafting with April, whichever one you posted in, and the date you posted. If you don't want to type that in, simply paste in your link that you copied from your time on Facebook. So if you clicked here and you copied that link, you can put that in there, in that little section, or you can fill out your Facebook name, the group you posted in, and the date. I will accept either one. And then you're going to hit enter. And I'm going to have to enter and have it take me out. I will have a rough copter take me out of there because I'm, of course, not going to win my own project. Once you've done that, you will see how to earn extra points. That one is mandatory. You have to do it, but you get five entries for that. So now how to earn extra entries. Share your design space project link. How do you do that? Okay, you're going to copy your project link and I'm going to and put it in there after you've shared it in the group. So let's pop over to the design space and I'm gonna stop the share and start another share here and show you how to do that. Okay, so here we are in Cricut Design Space. So what you're going to do is, I'm gonna pretend that this is my project. You are going to click on there. You're gonna make it public in Design Space and then you're going to copy that link. Once you've done that, you're going to pop back over to that. Uh, let me get back over there. You're going to pop back over onto the site here, and you're going to paste in your design space link right there. That's sharing. And then you're going to enter that one as well. Once you've got that one done, if you you can skip that one if you don't want to do it. You can follow me on Twitter. If you follow me on Twitter, you're just going to come in here, put your, your Twitter name in there, and you're going to share that with me and click on I follow, and that's going to earn you some extra points. Um, if you And that one was for two entries. If you go and you like my Crafting with April Facebook page, you visit me, come over here and visit that page. And yours is going to look a little bit different than that, but uh, because I own the page, it's going to look slightly different. Once you like the page, come back over and say, I visited, liked it, and you get three entries. And then let's see, right here, if you follow me on Pinterest, put in your Pinterest name, I follow, you're going to earn another two entries. So you can earn a ton of entries. Um, and get in there and try to win that auto press. I cannot wait. All the details are here. If you guys have any questions, please just let me know. Have a great day. Happy crafting and good luck on winning the auto press. Oops, I almost forgot. In order to tell if you have entered, you can see that I'm not able to do these again. And if you look up here, it will tell you how many entries that you have so far and how many you have available. So you can get up to 17 entries if you do everything, um, but you only have to do that first one. Again, you only have to do the one. So you need to see at least a five right here and five of 17. If you don't see that, you are not entered. You are not entered if this says zero of 17. You must, must, must do that. And I just wanted to refresh and show you I had Rafflecopter take me out, so I have zero entries. It may still show this 10 until they finish completing it, but I have zero entries. I did take myself out of there. So I just want you to be sure that you know how to enter because I don't want anybody to miss out on their chance. So get making that project, sharing it, and come and get entered. Have a great day. <laughs>